I just always loved surfing and the idea of it and boards and it just fascinated me, you know, I wanted to be a surfer and an artist. So those things kind of work well together as far as coming up with ideas and bringing them to life through skateboards and fins and whatever it is. I just always had a fascination with design. My name is Tyler Warren. I'm a surfboard shaper, artist, and a surfer. Did I already say that? I think when you make a board yourself and you ride it, it helps you get more in tune and more involved with riding the surfboard because you feel in some way it's almost what you should be on because your mind and your hand created it and that's subconsciously what you should be riding. And they're a piece of art, especially if you made it yourself. You put a lot of time and thought into it. So I like to surf and shape different types of boards. That's, I think, what's helped me go in the direction of making all sorts of boards as opposed to just one style. Because I've always loved to have a wide variety of boards depending on what the waves are doing. The ocean's ever-changing, so it's good to have an ever-changing quiver of shapes to choose from. I like surfboards a lot because it's functional art. You, you don't have to just hang it on the wall. You can put it on your wall or go ride it. I think that's one of my favorite parts of it, is you get to go have fun on it. The surfing and shaping and the art, they all kind of work off each other. It's like a magic triangle, I'd say. So they all kind of bounce off each other and keep this ever-evolving cycle of fun. I think what keeps you going with surfboard shaping is learning from the last, and surfing is kind of ever-evolving and surfboard shaping, applying these new thoughts or process to a board you're gonna ride and you put it in your own little blender and mix it up and you got your own smoothie. <laughs>